the key stages where emissions are produced, the manufacturing of the car, production of the battery, running the cars over their life cycle, and disposal and recycling of the vehicle at the end of its life, including batteries. Well, the batteries take almost as much emissions as the car itself. So right here, EVs are worse. And this is what people always want to quote is this here. The European Union found that emissions from plug-in hybrids were three and a half times higher than reported. And it concluded that the hybrids are charged and driven in electric mode much less than how they were expected to be used. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. I'm glad to say that our founder and chief editor, Bill Moore, is back with us. How's it going, Bill? Very well, thank you. Uh, I flew home from Seattle late last night, safely in a Boeing aircraft. All right, Let, let's see. So we need to start talking about these articles about are electric cars really better for the environment than fuel-powered cars? Now, I, I get this all the time. I see people say, oh, they're really just... You know, the making the batteries, all this other is so destructive and they're using child slave labor and all this other crap to make, you know, the, the EV. That's like, do you think that's not happening in oil? You know, uh, if it's happening in EVs, it's happening a hundred times worse in oil. Well, talk to people, uh, the people in uh, Peru and Ecuador and uh, people in uh, Nigeria and see what uh, the oil industry and things have done to them. So, yeah. Anyways, there the key stages where emissions are produced, the manufacturing of the car, production of the battery, running the cars over their life cycle, and disposal and recycling of the vehicle at the end of its life, including batteries. Now, it's interesting, this article really doesn't get heavy into the discussion on hybrids or plug-in hybrids, but they do mention that, that the plug-in hybrids, because people are so bad about plugging the damn thing in, that they really, it might as well just be a gas vehicle, which I'm kind of a proponent of plug-in hybrids because... That free, it's not really free, but you know what I mean? That those 50 miles each day, you're basically just driving an EV. Yeah, anyways, um, so here we are with manufacturing emissions to make the car's metal body. Now, this is metric tons of CO2. So petrol uses a little more because there's more components than there are in an electric car. Then we're going to go add the batteries. Well, the batteries take almost as much emissions as the car itself, okay? So right here, EVs are worse. And this is what people always want to quote is this here. We're going to keep on going. We're going to put the cars on the road now. Now, we're going to add emissions. Now, the, these are Australian numbers, and we're going to, but it's going to show that over the average lifetime, and they're, they're estimating that a car runs about the equivalent of about 100,000 miles U.S., yeah, I think they they do 15, 15 years is what this is based on. And I think it's 189,000 kilometers. Which would be about 120,000 miles. Now, my experience is, and I'm one of these people that runs a car till it falls apart, okay? Or somebody hits me and totals my car out. I've had that happen a few times. But that being said, this 10.5 tons of CO2 that the EV emits is based on the fact that in Australia, 68% of their electricity came from fossil fuels. Now, in the United States, it's only 60%, okay? But it really depends on where you're at, okay? Because the United States, 40% comes from renewables and nuclear. So this was the average for all of Australia, but this is factoring that 68% of the total Australian electricity came from fossil fuels. Because I've had people make the argument that it takes um, a pound of coal to put a kilowatt hour in a, in a car battery. And that's true. That is, that is true if you're getting your energy from coal. So here we're showing where this crossover is. And this was based on driving about 12,000 kilometers a year, which is only about seven or 8,000 or maybe 8,000 miles. It's not really a lot of miles compared to how people drive in the United States. Okay. But they were showing that the crossover point is around 38,000 kilometers which is about 24, 25,000 miles is where that converts as to where the electric car then has a lower emissions. And once again, this is using 68% of the fuel in that EV coming from... The Australian power grid mix. Yeah. Yeah, the Australian power grid mix. Yeah. So now we're going to come down here. So this is as um, the grid becomes cleaner, it starts separating more and more. We're going to keep going. Now, this is an electric car in Western Australia where 
they have a higher use of fossil fuels to fill up the car. Okay, so it's not as great there. But the crossover point was right at 40,000 versus 38,000. That's kilometers, everybody. Yes, that was in kilometers. Now, now we're going to go to Tasmania, famous for the Tasmanian devil. Okay, famous for the Tasmanian devil. We all know the Tasmanian devil from Looney Tunes shows. Anyways, Tasmania is mostly renewables. And so they don't have the same situation. The crossover point was at 23,000 kilometers, which is roughly 15,000 miles. So at 15,000 miles, the EV pays its carbon debt. Okay. And it pretty much no longer was using it. So if you had solar here in the United States, it would accomplish the same thing. Okay. So with solar or wind, you're at about a 15,000 mile deficit. And oh, here, here it talks about what about cars charged on rooftop solar? Well, they're showing the same thing, same 23,000 figure. The guys that wrote this really did an excellent job. Oh yeah, no, th- this, this is really good. So now we're going to get rid of our cars and we're going to talk about what goes on at the end. Well, here, more of an EV is recyclable. So you're removing 1.6 tons on the petrol car, but you're removing 2.5. And part of this is because the battery is such a big part of the process and it's going to be repurposed and then eventually recycled. The gas car may sell some of its parts, but it's not the same situation. So the electric cars actually have a bigger deficit. Everybody wants to say, oh, these EVs are going to be filling landfills. It's like, well, not as much as gas cars are. How many catalytic converters do you see in a landfill with all that platinum in there? Think of that in terms of the battery and all the valuable minerals and materials that are in that battery. Now, somebody's got to figure out how to how to make money out of that. I get requests all the time asking if I know where people can get used EV batteries that they can recycle. Yeah, because there's big business in that, and there's lots of places set up for it. It's, there's no shortage of that because they're all chomping at the bit, waiting for there to be demand. Tesla takes all of theirs, ones that when they get a warranty swap out, they take them all and they put them in their own battery storage facilities. Actually, they use most of them in their own manufacturing facilities to help at, as grid storage. So th- those things are getting repurposed and as grid storage They'll last another 20 or 30 years. Now, this chart shows the full life. Over here is petrol, and these are comparing the different parts of Australia. Here was New South Wales, and so it's considerably lower. So that that was uh, interesting. Now, they don't do a chart for hybrids, but their comment was plug-in hybrids can be run off petrol or a battery that's plugged in, but the life cycle depends on the region where it's charged and how diligent the driver is in charging. It can also run on petrol. The European Union found that emissions from plug-in hybrids were three and a half times higher than reported, and it concluded that the hybrids are charged and driven in electric mode much less than how they were expected to be used. And it's not so much that they're being driven that much more, just people aren't getting around to charging them. Whereas if you had an EV only, you'd be forced to charge it. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.